His girlfriend kicks him off his Spotify account every morning, June 15, 22. Originally posted by you, Monymous One in R, True Off My Chest on June 15, 2022. Updated over the next several weeks. Mood spoiler. Wholesome and happy. Less than. Original post. My girlfriend kicks me off my Spotify account every morning. I couldn't be happier. My girlfriend, F22, and I, M23, live together. My day starts off much sooner than hers does. I'm usually in the office by 6.30 a.m., which is about when she starts waking up. I'm one of the first people in the office, so I always put headphones on and listen to music as I start my day. I get about 15 minutes of music before it stops and I get the notification that the output device has changed. This is because we have a Google Home that's hooked to my Spotify account. When my girlfriend wakes up, she starts her day with, hey Google, play, so she has music when she's getting ready. I always just leave my phone open to see what she's listening to. And when she heads out around 7.30. I get my account back. I'm sure that she has no idea that she's participating in this little routine. And I have no intentions of telling her. Sure, it'd be easy to swap it to her account. But I love to know that she's awake and starting her day listening to her favorite songs. Another benefit of this is that I know what her current favorite songs are. So when we get in the car together or we're just sitting around, I know what songs will spark joy. Some days I think she's onto me. We're both very happy together. And I plan on proposing here in a few weeks. I'm excited to spend the rest of my life with her. Edit. More context for everyone. Hey everyone. Your support is wonderful. I'm so happy that you all enjoyed seeing a snippet of my relationship with my girlfriend. She's my favorite person in the world. If you think I'm sweet, you should meet her. We met about five years ago in college. We argued over a seat in calculus. Then ultimately decided to team up academically because we were in the same major. We were best friends for about three years. And now have been dating for two years. We live together with two wonderful cats. The engagement ring comes in two weeks. And we have a trip planned next month to have a romantic getaway. I love photography and we both love hiking. Due to this, we always go hiking with my camera and tripod. We always take photos together at the peaks. So I plan on doing that when I propose. I'll try to post an update when it happens. Love isn't some grand gesture. I've learned it's just a lot of little things that add up. Edit 2. An update on the engagement. For anyone still keeping tabs. I adore you. The ring is in. It's currently hidden in our home. Due to us finding a cute little townhouse to move into. We will sadly be moving during the time frame that we hope to go on our escapade. So it got cancelled. I hope to propose soon. But want it to be meaningful. For that reason. I'm unsure when it'll be. For those of you that have stuck around this long, I appreciate you. I hope to return here soon with some wonderful news. Until then, I wish the very best for you. Final edit. Closure. In case anyone is still paying attention to this. I proposed today. I apologize that this took so long. Thank you to anyone that is still keeping tabs. There were a lot of moving parts in our lives that delayed the proposal. So I'm thankful that I finally could. In the end, it was wonderful. She cried. I cried. Our parents cried. And our friends are all ecstatic. Now it's time to celebrate and begin wedding planning. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with this wonderful woman. I hope that you all find love. Everyone deserves to feel loved. This is so cute. The proposal reminded me of how my husband proposed. Because we both love hiking and I'm a keen amateur photographer. We were in Slovenia, Lake Bled, in December. The viewpoint was empty and I was trying to get a nice photo of us and the view with the delayed 
shutter function. But because it was icy I didn't have time to get into place and got several photos of my back. An Australian hiker turned up and offered to take our photo. Took one and was like, is that okay? And my boyfriend was like, could you take another one please? Kneeled down and proposed. Australian hiker squealed but kept shooting and we got a nice series of photos of proposal. Kiss. Fiance almost slipping off the side of the mountain. Me grabbing him. Second kiss. Wherever you are, Aussie hiker, you're awesome. A short happy one. This one gave me a smile. Loved the part about him knowing her favorite songs and turning them on in the car. Smiley face. I remember reading the original post and thinking how cute it was. Then I got a bit worried as to what the update may contain so glad it's a happy one. Not even an update about upgrading the Spotify account but I don't mind. And my cold, dead heart starts beating once more. Love is in some grand gesture. I've learned it's just a lot of little things that add up. So true. AITA has ruined me. I kept expecting this to turn into a story where the girlfriend's morning Spotify routine changes. And somehow tips off that she's cheating on him. I didn't like this one. No crazy people to get angry at or feel superior to, only positive emotions. So bloody wholesome. I loved reading this. Okay but did he go with the original proposal? I want all the sappy details come on loudly crying. I remember this initial post I was like, these people are going to get married and stay married for a long time. It's the little things that add up to something wonderful, that's just beautiful man smiling face with tear. So wholesome and happy is a mood spoiler now? This guy is already amazing at the young age of 23. I hope he stays lovely. This is adorable. Cute. This is so lovely and wholesome. I'm happy for them and wish them the best. Not only did they both cry, but I cried as well cuz that's so sweet. If my future relationship isn't like this, I don't want it. Some cotton candy clouds passing by smile. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.